Well, Adrian, your segment, Hidden Gem. Yep. Who we got this week? I'm thinking um, this character, um, Nova. Okay. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I forgot to do the research on him. But basically, so <laughs> he's like a Captain Marvel level superhero. Yeah. But he's also like the Green Lantern in that he's part of a core of basically spacefaring um like law space people. police almost. I, exactly. Right? Exactly. They were in Guardians of the Galaxy. No Nova Core. Yep, yep. Yep. So but unlike Captain Marvel, who owns her power, Nova gets his power from this helmet that he wears. Okay. Um so but they basic basically have the same power set. You know, fly through space, super you know, um very fast, very, you know, pow- very strong, uh, things like that. Uh, but also Nova at some point integrated with this supercomputer. So he has like all the knowledge that this computer has too. So once he takes the helmet off, um, which is malleable, he can, once it comes off, he can like fold it into a regular clothes kind okay. of a deal. Uh, but once he takes the helmet off, he's just a normal guy. So, Got but it. that's, that's the only difference. But in the interim, um, so is he you from know, earth? Huh? He's from yes, Earth? Yes, yes. Okay. So, I, I believe. I'd have to check. But anyway, yeah. um, so Captain Marvel level powers, which is why, um, you know, that's, he's a hidden gem because there's other characters out there that can be developed. There's other characters out there um, that haven't gotten the props yeah. that, you know, um, like a Captain Marvel would, would have. Of course... I mean, you're going to find that throughout, you know, Marvel and DC, where you have characters that are more popular than others, even though they have the same power set. Mm-hmm. But this week, it's Nova. Um, it's, it's an, he's an interesting character. The whole Nova Core thing yeah. is interesting. I think you, you guys should look into it. And we, yeah, we've never seen Nova in a movie. We've right. seen Nova Core. I think they were introduced in the first Guardians, mm-hmm. maybe. Sylvester Stallone plays one of the Nova Core right. agents or whatnot. Um, and I actually think I, I remember reading... I think James Gunn was talking about um, the character Nova because someone asked, like, is he gonna ever going to show up in Guardians? Uh-huh. And, and I, I think he said something along the lines of him being, like, almost too powerful that he didn't want to have to portray a character like him mm. in Guardians. And I could be butchering that whole thing. Right. But he's one of these high-level characters that probably wouldn't – they'd have to do something like they did with Adam Warlock. Mm-hmm. Where they had nerfed them, they made them like you know. A oh my god, a, a they, they they neuterized, neutered. This like why kid. even have them in the movie? Exactly, exactly. I mean, I I, I think they could have pulled it off. I mean, they 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 pulled off kind of Captain Marvel. Yeah. Um. So I think they would have they could have done a decent. But job. it had to be Captain yeah. Marvel level of right. character. Right. Got it. Um. And this is I, I've seen this guy. I didn't know a whole lot about him until you brought him up. Um. But I've seen this character throughout you know the years in comics. I always thought his suit was like. Very intriguing. It's right. kind of cringy, but kind of cool at the same time. Like the right. big star on the on yep. the. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I didn't know that his power it only comes from the helmet. Yeah. I mean, the thing about I mean his suit. Yeah, his suit is like it's almost like wearing um, you know, pick any clothing line where you got the clothes, you know, the the name of the the clothing line like all over the front, yeah. like this shirt, right? Yeah. It's like you know you got the big three stars yep. and yep. you got the big star on the uh, the on the helmet. It's it's crazy, but. Um, just like Superman's suit evolved, Batman's suit evolved, right. everybody's suit evolved. I believe that if they actually came out, um, there would be some variant of that that looks probably super, you know, pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I think they could very easily integrate somebody like him um, into the movies. Not even his own, just you know, maybe a cameo. Mm-hmm. Just like um, um, Captain Marvel, you know, she has her own movie. She came in at the end of um, the Avengers, you know. One, you know, everybody's fighting. Then all of a sudden, the guns on the on, on Thanos' ship yep, turns skyward. Yep. I mean, some a cameo like that I think would be pretty cool. And then just you know, grow him over the years. Right. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, is he? So there's other Nova Corps, right? Mm. Is he more powerful than them, or is it anyone who has one of those helmets is powerful? Um, I think he is, I forget the reason why, but I think he is probably the more powerful out of the others in Got the Nova it. Corps. I think I read that he's probably more powerful than all the rest of the Nova Corps combined. Oh, okay. Um, but he's still like, but he's not like a, um, like a Phoenix, like a dark Phoenix level because that gets into psychic stuff and, right. and, and, you know, um, 
celestial uh, power level stuff. Um, he's definitely not um, like a, I don't know. I mean, he's not like a celestial level, but yeah, he's yeah. he's he's powerful. Okay, I, I would I would put him over like a Green Lantern, even though have they 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 have okay. kind of the same mission. Yeah, so I got you. So Nova fights Binary, who was last week's hidden gem. Who wins? Oh, Binary. 